and welcome to my vlog in this video we're going to talk about the updated application of Akadsoc so if you want to apply in Akadsoc this is the first step that you need to take for being an online teacher in Akadsoc this is the Akadsoc application 2021 yeah so in this video I will tour you to the first step on the step-by-step -step process on which one you should do or which one should you click and this is a recording of my screen so you won't see more of my face don't worry about it and you will know on what to choose and what to do when it comes to the first step which is applying and don't worry if you have any questions or you would like to know more about being an online teacher you can click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified of my future and past videos and by the way do not forget to comment in our comment section if you have any questions you are feel you are free to ask me any question regarding to online ESL teaching and without further ado no more talking let's start with the video so that you can check out the step-by-step -step process for the step one in applying at Akinsoc so as stated in my introduction this video is about Akinsoc application first step in being an online teacher at Akadsoc. So as you can see here in this notepad, this is the link that I already saved and I will up post it in the description box so that afterwards you can check it out. And let's try it and open it into a new tab, paste and go. And you can see here, once you open that link, you can see this information. So you need to fill out the information to provide basic idea about yourself for the company to know you first. And then let's start with the name. So let's have here Nika Fate. Your middle name is just an optional. So that means you can either put it or not. Now let's have my last name there. Now for birthday, we'll have my birth year okay birth month and birth date okay now we're going to continue let me check once again okay that's correct now let's continue with where or what country do you live in so i live in the philippines of course and the city so to be exact I am from Davao, Davao del Norte, and the city that I will choose must be Tagum, okay? Not Davao del Norte, but Tagum as the city. And then next, you can see the educational level. What educational level are you currently? So if you're master's degree or you've graduated with master's degree, doctoral degree or abroad or and so on, and if you're still a college student, it's all okay. And if you're others, you can also click others, like high school. And for college student, there. So since I am a third year college student, so I'll click college student. Next, do you have any teaching experiences? As for me, I have one to two years, almost two years of experience. So I will click one to two years so it's either you don't have never which is never or you have less than one year few months in teaching and you can include by the way in here your um let's say face-to-face -face classes like in an actual classroom or private tutoring with a private student 
you could also include that. Alright, as now, I stated, after the teaching experience, we will proceed now with the certificates that you hold as a teacher. If you have any, you can choose from the choices below or above. And if you don't have, it's okay to click none. By the way, ACADSOC provide certificates for their teachers. So if you don't have any, it's all okay. Now, if you have others that are not mentioned from the list above, you can just click others. Now, as for me, I have Tussle and Tuffel. I get this from working outside the ACADSOC company, but... By the way, Tassel and Tuffle are for free in Akadsoc, so they will provide this to the teachers. Next, we'll have the last step, which is confirmation. In confirmation, you will need to um, fill out your phone number. So be careful on putting your phone number because they will make phone call or phone message through this number to confirm your application and to inform you about the next step same with your email account because through email they will also send you the updates when it comes to your login account your training when and where what app you should use and then the password this is very important also because through this password you can access the let's say artificial interview or the AI interview of the ECADSOC and then you can also or do not forget by the way to upload your CV though it is stated that it's optional for me I think it's very important because this is also a way for the company to know you better to know more about you as their teacher and then after that you need to click make sure that this is on check mark you can click the confirmation that you've submitted all real and effective informations about yourself then afterwards you can click submit this is the last um, icon that you need to click after you submit you can proceed now to the second step of application where I will also explain in our next feature video. So if you are interested in applying at ACADSOC, do not forget to click the link that I will put on our description box. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in our comment section. That will be all. Do not forget to click and subscribe to our video channel. Thank you very much.